America's first flying electric ferry is expected to come to Lake Tahoe soon. And Candela, the creator, Candela, is giving us a closer look at how they work. Michaela Hardy joins us live at the Tahoe City Marina after getting a first-hand look. Michaela, we've been talking about this story for a while now, but you finally got to check it out in person. Oh, I finally did, Ryan, and it definitely feels closer to a plane ride than a traditional boat ride. You, know, you may remember us reporting on this last year when Fly Tahoe first announced it, but now they're saying that we're getting so much closer to it to becoming the real deal, and once it comes out, it can bring a real big positive impact to tourists and locals alike. What they can expect is not only obviously less uh, pollution in the waters from oils and, and fuel, uh, but also less uh, shoreline erosion because we don't make a wave, as well as less disturbances in the local ecosystem. It took a ride in Candela's C8 model, their smaller recreational craft. However, Flight Tahoe will be using the P12 model. That is their passenger ferry that can fit 30 people with wheelchair accessibility, enough room for equipment like bags, skis, and snowboards, and can travel across the entire lake north to south in 30 minutes. A firm says both models are built the same. The P12 is just bigger. Flight Tahoe says this can help cut back traffic congestion as well. People do drive an hour and a half to work in the north, but I'm sure, I'm sure they don't want to. I think no one would deny a faster commute being a, a better alternative. And once again, Fly Tahoe is saying they are expecting to fully open this ferry, make it fully available to the public next year in 2026. We'll be sure to keep you updated on how that process is going. Covering the story live at the Tahoe City Marina, Michaela Hardy, 2 News, Nevada.